This is a Godfather and he is live. Live, live. The Godfather. The weekend sounds great. Around this tune and then bringing the big man in the car. You know, you know, you got ready. Yeah, man. Shout out to all K Takers fans, wherever you are, pick up yourself, stand by Showtime. I will not to sell myself for vanity, baby, because of a shameful society. I will not to lose my cool or sanity, mama, because of my calamity. Everybody blaming everybody For everybody's fault Oh, is it so? Everybody watching everybody So nothing done No, no, no I will not victimize my poor Suffering people, mama Because of a shameful society I will not pressurize my poor Suffering people, baby Because of my calamity Everybody saying everybody Is responsible Final Sunday for everybody's fault Everybody watching everybody So nothing done No, no, no For the children, a poor child is afraid of fire. Satisfy my heart's desire. Now, everybody watching everybody, so nothing's done. No, no. Everybody blaming everybody for everybody's mistakes. Good afternoon to you, sir. Good afternoon, sir. Good afternoon, Godfather. How are you doing? I am good, my brother. Blessed love, man, to all of the global family, them and all our peeps, them, you know? Yeah, man. It's, a, it's an honor to be able to have you live inside the house this afternoon to talk to a lot of people that knows you from way back long time and for the skills that you've created over the years. It's a pleasure to have you here right now. But um, thank you. Yeah, man, and I'm glad. I'm glad to be here. I'm glad to be here, you know. And it's a pleasure for you to um, think about me, to ask me. (laughs) To bless your blessed program with my um, my advice. You understand? Yeah, man. Man has done respect to yourself. Well, let's let's get down to the nitty-gritty here right now. You're a man Mm -hmm. that many people love, and the way that you've come across for, for many people admiring your style in the music industry and also in the sound we're going to take you I want you to take us back down that road where you first started and where you were from uh, which part of the world you're from well St. Catherine Jamaica originated you know mm-hmm. but mm-hmm. Um, I grew up most of my thing from baby time my grandmother used to say I take care of your mother breast <laughs> so from the time of birth I grew up in um, Anatabia St. Mary okay so in school time and etc., what what was it like in school for you at that time? Because that are we talking about the sixties, are we, or fifties? Yeah, man. Yeah, man. Sixties, um, early, early, late, late fifties, come up to early sixties school mm-hmm, time, mm-hmm. you know. Yeah, yeah. But just ordinary, you know. You know, school is a Jamaica. You know, see it. Um, sometime you learn, sometime you don't learn. Yeah. You know, sometime you just go through. Sometime you play. You have your friends. And all them years, it was just ordinary school life, me, I'm still, you know. Yeah. See, you know, see it. Right. Okay, so at that time, at school, doing your, doing your, your school work, most people I talk to, especially the artists, and you, you know that art, well, you are an artist in some way, but 
Did you ever actually been in church at the time with your grandmother them them days or your mother? Yes, man. I will ask you, man. <laughs> when me I grow up, you know, yeah. let me tell you something. When me I grow up, see, yeah. show me grow up with my granny, you know, so me have to do church. You understand? Yeah. And me remember when you're a certain age and my grandmother was a God-fearing woman, you know, because she loved the church so much, so tell if she can't go to church on a sick day, you know, see, she still has to send the little envelope with the collection for the train at the plate. You know, see it? Okay. And... I used to carry enough time and I said, boy, enough time, we got enough time, I have to say, boy, all the money that should come to me still. But you know, <laughs> show the, 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 the fear of God in our way and the way how she preach it. Um, you just carry a little past, like you go and go, go through it in a church, see where? Because yeah. she can go, you understand? Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. We used to have a thing named um, Sunday school. You know, a lot of, a lot of people are especially in the UK, I must not be not familiar with Sunday school where you used to go as a little children. Or as a little child. Mm-hmm. And when I got to Sunday school, there was a thing with them called the Golden Text. And oh, the grand, oh, my grandmother going to know if me miss about a Sunday school or I was paying um, attention is by the call that says, um, when we go in and you think everything and we're ready for the food. Before we get the food, say, come here. Where was the Golden Text taken from today? Oh gosh. Okay. Right? Okay. And you have to say something like John or St. John verse this chapter that that that. And she have the Bible and she say, All right, repeat it, make me hear. Wow. You understand? Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> and you can't repeat it. So after a time I realized say, boy, the the best I can do for, 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 for save up myself is to make sure I learn the golden text when one little lady, her name is Gloria. She used to take the Sunday school class. Mm-hmm. And thing, and me and my sister, we have to take the Sunday school thing serious. How are you, man? Wow. So, church people, man, grew up in our church, man. Me, me original Baptist, you know. Yeah, man, original Baptist until, you know, you grew up and thing, but then me associate with enough Rasta, man, you know. Highly, highly educated Rasta, man, them too. You know, see it. Mm-hmm. Whether up on the beach or. Up a river top or what? We we say what together in there, so we get the Rasta teachings here. We so talking about the Rasta teaching, was you Rasta. having the teachings during the time you was at the last point of your time in Jamaica before you came to England? Yeah, man, yeah, man. But you know, uh, no, me love the Rasta thing from me there, Jamaica, you know. Wow. But through my grandmother, now I war you now every time me I talk about Rasta because you see we go up in our tenement yard and you see we in the yard and. We are, we are talking, we are saying, Rasta, I tell the people, they say, Rasta, and they used to shout, my grandmother, and say, can you know what you about my Rasta, I tell you, a problem, man. <laughs> so, so most of the time, we have to keep it quiet, you understand? It was not until my research age I reached England here now, I realized, boy, my old lady, I mean, not if I chose, she left me for a long time, I want thing like that, but when I start to say, Rasta now, she decides, boy, she just said, allow me to do my thing. Right. You know, see, but about she never really like it to that, you know, but she just decides, boy, big man a big man, so, you know, things, so where should I do know, where should I do know when all my locks grow to a certain extent now, and me have one of them tam looking hot, and two straw and I drop down and me go monks her, you know, as a mother to a son, she come <laughs> and she use her hand and she pat pat me on my face and all them, like she a wipe off something, but you don't know what happened, yeah. and the two locks, then we have, we have drop down, she want to push up here, you know. <laughs> and things like that so after she pet me that way there and go on so she just hey, then push up them two you make it look good no? you know what I mean I push up I should not like say yeah. it's the year you understand yeah, yeah. And so I, yeah yeah man and as, the, as you mentioned that many of us went through that as well you know especially yeah. here in England as well because yeah. a, a lot of us a lot of us were born in this country and uh, the new generation of, of youths uh, in terms of Windrush we were the first and part of that wind rush, and uh, for those in the sixties coming up, we went through a, a situation where we got to realize that the, the generation of parents didn't like the likes of rasters. It wasn't a thing that no. you, you talked about amongst families and friends because their friends have it said, "No, sir, my son, no, my daughter, not turn rasta, ray, 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 ray." Yeah, yeah. But uh, I'm gonna show you something mm. quickly. The people, them, the whole of people, them in Jamaica, they like the rasta doctrine, you know, because them like the one love. Yes. And them like the way Rasta did with love. 
So with society, they them use the locks. You know, see it. They them use the locks. So them 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 call it dreadlocks. Mm -hmm. You understand? Yeah. It's not before you have all word when I say wolf in a sheep clothing because it's after a time them things they develop man. But in the early out of the locks, them use and fight the rasta thing. And also them never love it. But society had to find a way to get it out from day one. Yes. So yes. they use it like if you if you know this yeah, Jamaica, there was a time when the government passed and say I'm a trim all rasta and all the middle. So it was all using locks them a fight against. It wasn't the doctrine. No. Because it's... when Bob Marley when Bob Marley come and say one love with him locks, they embrace it. Yeah. We're talking about nineteen sixty three with Buster Monty and the entourage. He yes, the man, in a them time they yeah. and half of them time they come down, you know. Mm -hmm. that, that 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 was the whole thing there. So as a youth me know Serasta was a was a true thing still. Yes. You know, see it. But then what happened now, you find out say after a time now a whole heap of man find out say them could have put on the locks and go out with a whole heap of thing mm -hmm. and come spoil the thing again. So man starts say man a wolf in a sheep clothing. But one of the time the man them with the locks and them do the jadest thing you could have find in Jamaica. <laughs> And anyway at all. Yeah, man. You know, see it. And yeah. then you have some man start locks now and a and, and a punky dread them because they're not really rust, but them decide for wear the, the, the dreadlocks here style. So I only put thing go wrong for us to not see it, but it but it should live with your rust is still there until today. Yeah, man, the the, the, the concept of the of the Rastafarian fate is still Yeah man, there. they're the man it now and it now go going away anytime it soon. Now, it now going away. And remember say so, you know, it's been said many times over. For a religion that doesn't have no church and no building of its own, and yet still people are talking about Rastafari. Yeah, man. You know, you understand. Mean? Yeah, man. Well, all right. So, anyway, so in terms of coming to England, now you come to England, now you, you come to the cool place up here, snow and all these things. How did you feel when you first came to to England? Well, when I come to England, you know, me, more or less, me did anxious to come see my mother because she leave me for a few years. Well, okay. Take up my sister and thing like that and thing and it was my turn. Well, back to Jamaica now when in her own maybe them time you know um she she, she filed for me for coming England. But them time they them are locked down by immigration for coming at the place, right? So them um them what you call this them them turned me down. You understand? Them turned on my application and my only you know say boy. I have enough family in Jamaica to take care of more, more than she and the little family where they are. So, mm -hmm. so them, 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 them refuse me entrance. So, I said, well, then, boy, for that, I go on all them time. I left school now all them time then and all them weird and thing. I said, boy, something not for go on. Well, I like the singing business from day one, you know. Okay. So, I said, boy, if I have anything I will try, see, I can handle the singing. Or my next, my next thing was a soldier thing. You understand? Yeah. So, but there is a time now and go so book now and me go um one place I sent me right there, um with the, with the soldier them when, when when you know right soldier the other one we didn't call him again um yeah it was a re reserve camp right yeah you know see it because them time the upper camp they are torn and we had two choices so I said let me go there so I do it so I took the soldier um me took the, the whatever it named you know so when I wait for call now um. My mother up at them time, they know all them couple years, you know, a fight a thing in tribunal. You understand? Yeah. And a fight it forget her son in the place. So when I tell when I did a week no all them kind of thing, you know, for the results and everything. I get a I get a, a, a letter from my mother say, boy, she fight case and win case and we can come in. Okay. So and there so it was, you know, I get ready and thing like that and Come in at the place, you know. Okay, all right. And thing. So, how do you feel landing in England and for the first time and seeing the things that you've heard about the country? Was it to your satisfaction at the time, or were you finding it well? Different? Put it this way: I was glad to be here okay. because we come see my mother, my sister, and you know, yeah. brother, and you, you, you know, you understand me. I say so. Uh -huh. That did more take. That did more take president more than even I think about the place or such and thing like that. And bear in mind, I came here in like July, you know, so the place oh, kind yeah. of. Oh, come so much time. Yes, you know, oh. that, that tell you something. <laughs> even not think about the cold because I get a joke, you know. <laughs> I get a little job because I can't tell you what really they are going on. My mother never want me to know about the dual business and things like that. So she makes sure I go look a little job. I get a little apprentice job in a time, you know, apprentice thing I run. 
I'm going to get a apprentice job and thing like that. And boy, I'd come down in a way out you know, about down in a the October or whatever after I have the job for a little while. And mm-hmm. but I opened the door one morning, a pure whiteness I sip on the floor. So I just shut back the door and go lie down my youth. <laughs> <laughs> You don't see it. So when I shut my go, my mother then everything some guy and I think uh, so when she opened the room door and come in and see me, she said, What are you doing here? You're not gonna work. So I said, Mama snow to door, you know. And thing like that. Because me thinks that snowfall was an opportunity, so you're not going away. Okay. You know? <laughs> so she says, So? I said, Mom, you, you, you look outside, she said, I say a snow that first this are the first me I go say snow, you know. I mean recognize it enough to tell her I said snow out that word. Mm. You understand? So anyway, she said, Well, let me tell you something. If you're not walking at it now, you have to go walking at it sooner or later. <laughs> so if I were you, I get up and go on a work. So, you know, with a bit of frowns and you know, put on my face to face and I kind of, you know? Yeah, yeah. Ease up and, and do my little thing and go on and dread it. Because I think of the outcome before me even start. And I dread it. But I want to show you something. When I go through it and think like that, I kind of like it in a sense, apart from the cold and, the, and I freeze them and all the way, you know? I kind of realize it's not that bad. You understand what yeah, I mean? Yeah, yeah, so, yeah. Yeah. yeah, so like she said, enough snow more walking her since them time, the man. Yeah, man. Yeah, man. The, the, the lyrics of Bob Marley coming from the cool, you know? So, yeah, yeah, man. yeah, yeah. So, well, my one was going out in the cool. <laughs> <laughs> so, you, you know, at that point, then obviously, you got yourself a job, etc., and moving to mm-hmm. the line. How did you get involved in the music industry from at this side well, of England? Well, well, the music thing wasn't a England thing, you know. I play sound system from when I was out eight or nine. Me I play record and music at Jamaica. Because I grew up with a hunting lab. He was one of the greatest record collector. And he had a little stereo before. And then he buy a little piece of amp. with only a bass, bass treble and, and volume. Yeah. But he used to work at a place named Flamingo, which was a hotel in town at Crossroad. And he was a great record collector. He wouldn't come back home. He sent me a weekend time. He come, he come, he come, come home for a weekend time. And he always bring in record. And one of my greatest joy and my pleasure was to wait as him land. So we did a little pass the record, no matter. Sometimes it's a box, because you know, then time the 45, I help you and them thing that run. Mm-hmm, mm-hmm. Yeah? Yeah. And me used to go so... And as I land, I take him out of him and you know, I was him little DJ, so I tell him get a bar. And I was a little youth to play all the music, them pan a little set there, a weekend time in the bar. You know, see? It? Right. Right? But before that, me a man who play all gramophone, you know, but that is a story for another day. You know, see? Because enough man never put on a, rec- a, a needle on a gramophone record. The big old Are we talking? 70 years. Uh, uh, yeah, you understand? So, yeah. me have all the experience of all them things there, you know. Up in our country, a man come back from England with him gramophone, with the funnel. His master's vice. And even and even right, and, I mean, and even then, so to cut you there, but even then on the gramophone, there was no form of reggae music at that time. It was a different type no, of music. No man, may I tell you some as some as some some them call him seventy eight man, some record you know, remember we call, uh, most people enough people never know forty five like Maccabee say. You know, see it. Yeah. But them day there was some record here, same day after why in the gramophone roll, why in it up, why in it up, why in it up and then put on in England. You know, if it run out sometimes, go, err, 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 and cut down. You know, see? <laughs> but anyway, fast forward from this. So, so you know, them same little stage, you know, when I go to school, you now, I start playing a little more sound in you know, St. Mary and Atabi, and him, counselor of the president. Right? I was a youth where I play them thing for him, all them, when I have all that thing in Coney Island and stuff like that. I used to play the music. You understand? Right. So, DJ and sound like Lord Unit Tony Wizard. St. Mary that again and at a beer and thing like that. And little thing like that and travel all over the island as a youth. No, hear all of the tough sound them and all them. We had a sound named Sons Jonas Sebastian from a place named Brayton. So I'm well equipped with the sound music and the playing music business before me come on here. Yeah. So what name was you under then when you doing all this doing all that? Selecting? Well uh no no when I mean, have no DJ name it was Ken. Just Ken. Then I come to England, yeah yeah man, yeah man, I oh. come to England. I just Ken see and we DJ Ken, alright. I'll tell you what no. Yeah. I land in England on a Saturday night. 
Wow. Yes. Now, a place near my Bramford in Birmingham. Mm -hmm. Right? Um, there's a place near Alam Rockway, near to Bramford. You know, Saltley Gate. And my sister there, everybody had fussy for care me out the first night. I was a sat there, lucky for me. So, you know, when I come in, you know, they rush me at Burton's and set me up, you know? Yeah, man. I did there and thing like that. And Burton's. Come boy. out and go so book <laughs> now and go and dance a Saturday night, you know, and I saw him, I'm never forgetting. I'm a first saw my chat pad. Leroy, Leroy the Saint. Right? And we, 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 when I go there the night now, I meet the man, depa. every minute him live for him, all him the is boss, boss, the bigger boss, because the bigger boss started in them time there. Boss, boss, the bigger boss. So hold on there, stop, hold on there, stop. So you come from Jamaica on the Saturday, and by the night yeah. time, you dare dance and go pick up microphone, yeah, man, I will man, the are man, the 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 so anyway, back to fast forward now, the night there with me come now, I'm going to sub up and DJ the song now, uh -huh. right? We just come from Jamaica then, I'm going to tell you exactly what time this was now. Dennis Al Capone, that was shown when Bunny Lee them put out. It um, was a version to Dead Rye Wilson, Better Must Come. Mm -hmm. So all them look a kind of DJ style, them a kind of them, you know, Better Must Come, It Must Come, It Must Come. Because we touch a cat, a cat, tell you that. Because when me check, I stop me licky back. You know them style, you see? Yeah. And things so I put on them style and hear everybody a whisper say a patsy brother in them that them come up, patsy them come up. You know, you know, look a whisper them and yeah, go around yeah, and yeah, yeah, feel, yeah, good, yeah. feel good, feel big. <laughs> and when me hear that, and then me start do all my thing more. <laughs> yeah, I think and you know, nice it up. And this immediate Sunday night after that, me out again. Place them St. Mark's Church Hall. Boy, I mean, never see so much people, especially women in a little place. Like that, in the church hall. This was a song named Studio City. Right. Controlled by a man named Louis Fifield. Mm -hmm. Right? Okay. So when I go the night now, and think, I'm going to give you a joke. I'm not afraid to talk and I'm a journey. So yeah, I'll man. tell you. Yeah, when I reach when I reach a club, you know, I buy my jacket and thing like that and thing. So when I when I go into the club and when I look for my jacket, I peel dust me say. So I brush off the dust and I say, wait, I'm going to oh, close the dust up. So I brush off the thing and thing like that. And I say, wait, oh, what's going on, man? That time I and the, me and the people them gone in and I'm still there at the start. So I brush off and I fight with the dust for my clothes. So me decide, so now I go back now oh, to where I can see the thing properly in the light. Uh -huh. And when I go you know, in, a, in a the bright light now and go so for the dust now, I don't see no dust for my clothes. So I start saying, well, then, boy, I'm going to wait up a while going now, so now, you know, see, so when I look back in the place, now I notice all the people, them, yeah, you look great and all them things around them, and all them start as there. So I just take time easy in my shoulder when I look, I see the dust come back. And when I ease out back, I don't see nothing, so I just brush off myself and say, oh, <laughs> it's a light thing, a trick me. <laughs> so I just walk in neatly, like I know the thing from a long time, you oh, understand? okay. It wasn't the dust, it was the light bulb. Are <laughs> they light, man? It's like a bluish light. They are it. I change up everything for me, but me. I check it out to have any first me I tell a lie. First me I go go in somewhere where I have a light like that. Well, you are going on. You, know? you see, when it comes to light, Yes, so for me, I always said the blue light is for the for the for the blues when blues get nice and nice and everybody nice, and the mm -hmm. red the red bulb is for one night when you play a certain type of tune different from the lovers rock. So you have two different mm. type of uh, the, the most popular colors in a blues was red and blue. Yes, yeah, so so yes, yeah, so after that no. Like me say, I go up to the control, but no, this was a different thing now because pure DJ runs through the mic. Mm -hmm. Every man in my talk, but me listen to them and go on with them and go on still and yeah. you know, like it was like a shark event. Every man come like a shark for the mic because, you know, mm -hmm. and thing I mean, I said, boy, this is not so easy like last night thing. I pay a man there, so 
So one of the people them were there with me now and they there with me one of the family from the night before them say, them bring me a pot and say, give me a talk off for the mic. And thing like that. And like some look, you know, some look come and look by us somewhere because him did they line up and wait for him talk all night still. So, you know, mm-hmm. anyway, we get a talk and when we get a talk and go so and give them the one talk. I remember me fresh, you know, man. Everything with them I hear just I come from Jamaica and I reach England, you know. And me bring it up live in a day. Right? And I hate top lyrics. So I go sub up and DJ the night and wah, you know, see it. Everybody talk at the town and all them sort of something, the brother. So I DJ the night there. Yeah. So that was my start in you know, the musical journey in England. First two nights me in the place. So you, that was on and that was on Studio City. Yeah. Yeah man. At what at what point did you actually be part of that sound? Well, in a damn little time, you know, in a first couple of months, every day and thing like that, we get to understand, says, I saw a play out regular, them time they are blues dance, and, you know, one thing lead to other, and him, the man like it, so them always make sure them come pick me up, and thing when them are play out on weekend time, you understand? Oh, okay. And thing, and that was it, and thing. So you became part of the sound system itself as their main Yeah, mic maybe came man. like say, yeah, I was a regular mic man for them thing in oh, them time. Okay, yeah. and, and I get know? and so I get I, I get to understand that that sound at the time was the was you around at the time when you had the um the the, the amplifiers that he, that they talk about the first man to have a thousand watt amplifier was you around at the time when he or did oh that come? studio yeah no because we well, you must know now we eh, I was in Birmingham and I'm. I got DJ and thing like that. I remember a man named Joe Cohen, you know. He come at my mother's yard and say, him hear about me and him come at my mother's yard and say, right, and ask her if him can, she, if him can go to them one weekend and thing like that one. Saturday night, or DJ him sound for him. Okay. I remember, I know you play record, you know, me on the attack for mine. Mm-hmm, mm-hmm. Right? And mother say yes and thing like that. And the man sound genuine and thing like that, you know, brother. And Joe Cohen, Want me to interview you to you know bad thing him do about me. I my name remain bridge you know, over the years where we get more familiar familiarized with each other. You understand? Seen, seen. A man can go one thing I will go play a Sony and Pato Bantan they have a, a father name them a father they have a Sony V Rocket, you know, when I H Baston or And the man can go in a one pub, Yorkshire Grey, I think it was. And the night me DJ and the whole place a uh, rocket never have a talk because I put putting him never know if he even talk for the mic never mic for talk against me and pure excitement the night and all him with the mash down rocket and thing and he come and drop me back on the place he, he, he come rich when my mother live over at Bramford and say tell your mother say me I come see her next week and thing like that brother a uh, years before me see that man there again you know <laughs> not a penny. You know, see it. So, wow. after in time, I see me run some little joke and say, Well, I'm telling little money the way you're supposed to give me. And him laugh until today. It's the laugh. It was, that was how it go. You the name V Rocket. It's not the same V Rocket from Nottingham, is it? No, 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 no. Oh, v Rocket okay. from, from V Rocket from Nottingham now was a different. So, was a, was a man named Bobsy. Right. And thing, we, 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 we thing. Um, cause we have them time they are mafia to one time, them time they and thing like that, which is a another part of the journey. Yes, yes. You know, see, there's a the same sound where him sister Valerie come up and start run mm-hmm. when she come from Jamaica. Right. You know. Right. Okay. Right. So at times you were doing your thing, and obviously from that time playing with that brother and and then drop you off. What happened from then? From there afterwards, what did you decide to do next? Well. I got, I got London. Um, I can't remember if I'm in a studio. Them. Because we used to go to London and go look record and things like that, yes, right? Yeah. And studio, we tell you, me did have um, some people in a, one place, you know, Aquarius record at Jamaica. So when me come up here and realize, oh, go on, me start sending back for music at Jamaica. So we look up past to come studio, you still have to get some music back. But the man them send for me and thing like that, you know? Uh-huh. And brand new music when I reach England and and things. So, so there was a go on in I'm no look away. Mm-hmm. Now, I got London and then, when I got London and I look on London and I said, but at that place your yeah, man for them and up here look fast. Yep. You understand? So I just come back to Birmingham and just look for my old lady and say, you what? No, man, I got a land on you. So we got a land on you, you know a land on you. said, boy, I'm mean, not too no nobody yet, you know, but I got a land on you. <laughs> you understand? We said, brother, 
Yeah, yeah, yeah. I just jump for that train, you know. I say London and go back a wish part, run out, but with the pass run out one place, I see some man like and you know. I me say, boy, at least there's a hands, so I have pass for the hands and so I go on and mm. thing on. Mm-hmm, mm-hmm. Yeah, man. I'm going go down there and down there for here now. So then I go among some man in Lord Coast. And when I go there, I have him sound in him house because, you know, he was such a man that's the man where, 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 where did the monks him, the man him left him and gone. So he had to pack up his sound in him house. Right. So when I reach, you know, and I realize, boy, I'm a good DJ. And I also a selector, because I like me to say, I play music for me there, Jimmy, because I'm youth. Yeah. Right? Yeah. Him decide to try a thing, so them keep a dance and bring bring out the sound, you know? And yeah. thing I will go out and I'll go on with me, I go on. And then a couple of man of the year I start, I say, yo, the man, they know, know him things still, you know? And thing like that, because then time they have one bad sound, then he and Chojan. You understand? Which was part of the children. The man them were used to run the children record thing, you know them time, eh? Yeah. Them did come with a sound name children as well, you know? Okay. And things. So right there and people sound. Them thing are London now with a man named Vigo. You understand? Right? Only part thing. So I play a cool sound and then sometime I go across a council over North London, you know? DJ Fee, I was him number one DJ, you know. Even me have a DJ LP we come out in a seventy six. Conchelli put it out because we are him did love all my DJ, so I'm saying, boy, give my LP. You understand? Yeah. And thing. So that was most I journey me play. Even like the Cox and Sound. It's a DJ pardon me there, London. Cox. Let me tell you that himself. Cox. Wow. Yeah, man. Come here, so go all the ACs and Cox. I me, me follow Cox in all over the place. You know. Follow Cox when I reach London, Cox in one place, the Roaring Twenties. Yes. Yes. When he reached the Roaring Twenties, he got one place named Georgian. Then he went up for four races, right? He was the only son who had a night spot most of the time in London. Sir Coxon, you understand? And you know, one of the greatest. Me give him in preps, you know what I mean? Trust yeah, me. Yeah, man. It's, Wouldn't uh, take nothing from Lady Coxon when he come on the sound system in other country. You know, he was the sound. Great. He was the sound system that made other sounds around outside of London wake up. And decide yeah, to man. build sounds, you know, because everybody said they wanted to be like Sir Coxon. Everybody wanted to play with Sir Coxon. Well, then we now lose and yeah, want to be yeah. part of that Coxon element, you know. Yeah, man. He was a sword, man. And things. Some of us, some more time, other pass through some other little place and so on, and, mm-hmm. and, 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 and DJ. Because when we look back on something, when we also go on with anything like that, you know, boy, the people, them, they love me when me a DJ star because it was a good head, head tap. Head tap, man, you know. But I said, come out of my head. You know, see it. Mm-hmm. And thing, right? Mm-hmm. So, continue the journey, you know. I'm there land now, you know, and thing like that. No, I book up Bunny Lee, them now. Yes. The great producer, Bunny Lee, so, start par amongst him. And thing like that, no And them time, you know, get in that juice, man, like Tapazuki and them, man, you know, start coming at the place. Right? So, we used to have a, 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 a when Bunny come, you know, we used to find a house and we just rent the house out for the people them. Mm-hmm. And it was like, we used to call it Raven Pad. So, me a man who liked my food and things like that now. So, in the house now, me was a man who do the cooking. You understand? Yeah. So, we used to go all the yeses and I come back all night. Miguel night there, yeah, the man named Mr. Erie from Kilburn Lane, right? Where he used to. He used to have a, a all night grocery place so you can get yam and banana and all them things and rum, you know, and things. So we used to just buy food in the middle of the night there. Me I tell you, man, you used to bust so much by the time we come home in the morning, they all four or five and cook. Every man, every man drop asleep, brother, and left your food. <laughs> <laughs> and when you wake up, you, you, you better make sure you see like how me I cook now. Be sure my own and care in my room, you know, because. Most time when you wake up in the morning time, then no, no food no left in the not, pot. No, 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 uh, of course. The Humphrey um, passed through, man. No food no left in the pot because it was such a thing where even suffer of them, suffer of son, but then it's my tumbe them used to the monks there. Yes, yes. Anywhere the man them are come from, man, uh, in the night, then they used to pass uh, anywhere where bunny, where any house we have. And come in, because the door used to open 24-7, you know. See. So the man him used to just make it a, a pleasure for come in, come eat half all of the food and things like that. And God. Yeah, guarantee your food. So, like, yeah, yeah. Yeah, man. So one, 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 one day me a cook now and Bunny Lee them come in and Bunny said to me, say, yes, nuts. We are cook. 
So boy, I'm not up some yam and bananas per usual, you know? And Ray 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 and man say, eh, so why? No, him look on him say, boy, you can't take care of things, eh? And thing like that, you know, in a seat and him laugh and go in a seat. Tapazuki, they behind him now and yeah, man, and Tapazuki say, yeah, man, I care to you, come on. And thing like that, you understand? Right. Right, and then another time now, Tapa come in and say, caretaker, where you cook today? And thing, and so beat my brother, so the caretaker, caretaker thing come in, you know, so it wasn't really a musical thing when you come here, caretaker, you know, it was more a food thing and a cooking thing. Yeah, man. But then caretaker and him come in. Okay. They look after everybody still, so, yeah, man. The yes, yeah, man, I, I mean, used to take care of the place, man. Them time, you know, I mean, through the city, we tell you, even the music now, the aggravator music with Bunny Lee, and me control all the tape, them and everything, because, right, me no want to jump forward the thing, you know, but even Mafia Tone, where you hear them talk about that, right? As through the city, can Mafia Tone come link me up to London. You understand? And start, and start giving some aggravator music and all them, you hear that? You understand? Right. Right? We hear a lot about Stafford Douglas. What was your relationship with him like? Well, like me say, you know, oh, me and Mafia really kind of linked together, you know. He must to come check me for music in London because them time they like me say, me in the clique of artists and everybody and thing. You may know two of them come command them too. Mm-hmm. But when they come on to the, 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 the real artists, them like uh, Delroy, John Noel, Ken Bo, the whole of them man there. And me know them and I'm them amongst them. Right. So through my gateway now, Stafford kind of get a link. You see it? Right? And then, like me says, true, as true the time come link me, you know. Him know my family, but me and him never really know each other as such. Me know of him and him, you know? Yes. And things. So from that one link, then now he's a man who so come and land and every week. Because at one point, because at one point, Stafford used to live in London at one point. And left yeah, then I tell you, say, man, through the sound business, he used to come down here, yeah? mm. but he used to come and land and every week. And when I mean thing a week time when he come, he used to pass through the house and, and check me. Right. You understand me? I say, and most time he check me, more have all the artists I work with, we have to check a man or me know the man him, so could I go to them and then stuff would get for cut to dub and, and stuff like that. You understand? Mm-hmm, mm-hmm. Right? Never hear him so net. And man, I said to me, boy, if you come along, if you come and bring him on the night, one of the weekend with me, man, come listen to the sound, you know? And I said, yeah, man, I come all the time, man. But them time, I kind of, you know, in a thing where I go on and all them, really, right? And things. So, one of the time now, I'm there in London and Bujum, a man named Drew Kalai. He sound me, send a message to me and say, I want some dub music. And he want them with him, name in it. In my story, you know, my brother, you have to call back what is because I watch a journey. That's the only thing we tell you, man. Because that, that, right, before, so, before you go any further, <laughs> before you go any further, Sofra <laughs> Matumbi was doing the dubs at one stage, but there was no vocals to these dubs at one stage. Yeah, no, no. Um, let me tell you something. Mm-hmm. What am I talking about? Them forget it right. The first music that come out when a vice now unite, you know, was American music, you know, right? It was a song named um, Baby, Baby, I Love You Madly with a group named the Fantastic Four. Okay. Right? That was a song that come out and that was from early, early 70s out or before where them, them put the instrumental side just, just take out the, vo- the, the, the um, just take out the vocal and run and run the version. Right. You understand? And right. Toby's now start do that, take out the voice and all them way there the and, and start improvise with Uri and all them time with, with, with thing and draw out the voice and put in Uri and all them. Mm-hmm. Start of something there. From from the from You the, understand? Yes, yes. From, from And then everybody start for light. Right. So when when, when, when Matumbi them start the way them are doing now, my brother, them thing they done they about long time, man. You know? But for those who didn't know the history, like how you know the history right now, then people would sort of gravitate that part of the story. Now you have to enlighten us of the situation. Now we know where the foundation of the dub plate vocal separation started from in the first place. So we're happy to have you to clarify that situation. Yeah, man, them things start long time, man. And then when it start, man, King Tobies, man. King Tobies and Wollipa Sword, man, and things like that, man. King Tobies, 
right? King Toby's used nanny, nanny good version, you know, Larry, Larry, Larry uh, Marshall, and take it out and run it on Sons Jonah one night today. Now, as I youth, me then I want dance a break time with a sound here, Sons Jonah, where Sons Jonah was a part of the great Sebastian, Tom the Sebastian. Uh -huh. You know, see, me never used to hear Tom, but me, your son's junior, when him take it and carry it, got Britain. You understand? Right. Right? So we come back to England, you know, with, with, with our line, you know. Because I will buy history, me have a Jamaica still going around and listening sound, you know. Everyone, most I sound them. Sir Percy, you know, see it. Sir George, you know, see it. Right? As a youth, me, me listening. You know, I was privileged to go to one of them sound the dance. Whether them come a country or most privileged their town and could I hear them. You understand? Yes, yes. Right? Yes. So anyway, Drew Kala, you know, call me now and, and say, boy, I bring some music home and things. So use my money, you know, brother, and go in a studio you know, and call you know, some talk or something. I don't remember. Something could have been like Drew Kala, I run on a man with a cut list or whatever. You see? Yeah. I'm putting my music in the man go so boy and say and <laughs> borrow all a train fear. Yeah. I say me I got a burp now, man. So no worry yourself, man. I'm gonna come back, man. Nice, cause I can't I go deliver a burp now and thing like that, right? Yeah. I mean never forget the man in one place named Samson Road. We must have him sewn in there. I'ma come down and go check the man in the man. And the man say, Oh yeah. And take the music, them the dub plate them from me and put it on him turn table and me dead, you know. Me all about to have some skank to. And thing like that and all that. Talk it talk to it. The, the one that I can't remember because I remember most of what I say, you know, like it a play, I can't remember something. So I just talk that little part there, make it sound good. And the man play every single one of the dub them, brother. Turn over and play that him, play that him, turn over and play that him, play that him, turn over. And the man said, boy, them sound good, you know. But why? You want to see me can't even spend no money on now. Yeah. <laughs> I tell you, right? I think. I will tell you, listen to me, no man. I mean, I'm not going to tell you, I plead with the man, you know, because, remember, you know, the man named them in the dub, you know. But I say, the yeah. man named in them. We hear so you. I know, like, I can't care them come sell to you, you know, Godfather, because they now say Godfather. They must say Joke a lie. Yeah. And yeah, you hear me, I say? Yeah, me hear you. Me hear I want to come on. Yeah, man. I want to come on here. Little Johnny can confirm all of me, I tell you. Right? And the man never give me a penny, brother. Wow. Never give me a penny. I want to, I want to. We go through some little thing in our life, but that one, there was, that one, that did steep. That one, that, mm -hmm. that one. Real that, steep. That one, a real steep, brother. That one, that did real, well. that one, that real, you know. Yeah. I think like that. So now, I end up now, couldn't go back to London at the same time, but it was a weekend I'm in there now and thing. I remember if I dig better away, Mafia tour that play and right. thing like that. So I know I'm supposed to have music and thing like that. Uh -huh. And um, I go to Subup and go there and thing like that. And I go to Mafia tour and have enough DJ to, so I don't you know, see it. But them time I know my name Caretaker. That everybody know me by now, he, by this. Yeah, caretaker there. You know, see it. Yeah. So, so when I come a Mafia tone, me never come make caretaker name for Mafia tone. I come, me come back a burp now with the name caretaker from London. Right. Everybody. If you come from London, them see me, you know, say, caretaker, hey, 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 you know? Yeah. And thing, and I saw me kind of come that weekend, they got a Mafia tone. Stafford Lad for see me, everything, and play out, you know? Raise a little change over the weekend, and... Uh, Hitch back my ride, left the dub them with my money and little Johnny, right? And hitch back the ride. When you, when you say, <laughs> when you, when you, hold on now, when you say left the dub them, so when you, when you give the, left the dub, we, we, the one we left the, the dub them, man. Which one? The one, you give, them. The one you give um, Drew Kalai? Yeah, man, the one that I care for. I never give him, you know, you must say the man say I don't have no money for Oh, you should take them back. Seen. I can't leave my dub with them, oh, with them man. I don't like the man say left them and come sure. back in a brother. The man, the man definitely say he don't have no money, he can't spend no money. Hold on it, hold on it. So we might tell you, say I don't want them. Yeah, man, serious thing. Me, I tell you, man, we must say, I'm not one of them. So, 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 me, I tell, so, me, I tell, so, take them back. So, all on it. So, all on it. at any point, did he get them? Af did he come for them afterwards? Well, you know, see him, see you, me, I tell you. You never, you never want that thing. Them. That thing, they make me and the man, they not talk for years, man. Wow. Right? I have wow. late now, too. Well, everybody a big man. We're not to, we're not to one of and thing like that. But wow. just in case, you mean, I wonder why we're not talking about the years. I doubt me, did I carry. But you don't know. Sometimes, you know. 
them say if you forgive and forget, you know, but sometimes some people they are something where they when they look on the road, the thing hot. You can't let go. Yeah. You, me, you can't let it go, you know. Yeah. So me can't me the kind of care feelings here. Wow. Me not tell for years. Wow. Me not telling you no know, like wow. you spent two years. Th- so tell but years ago now, me let go that man yeah, and yeah, yeah. Me but, it, but it's a it's a it's a history story that basically like me say. Yeah, you know. When, what I mean? when we talk to many men like I, yourself, yeah. they have a story for tell. And a man who, yeah, man. who and a man yeah, who hear yeah, another side of the story, they can't say, well, boy, I know so you go because I saw it did go. And we love, we love the yeah, way, man. we love the way you come across and talk about your experience, you know, your experience, you know. And yeah, if, man, I, let me not tell you, man. So from this, you know, from this, you know, I go back to London and then stuff would have come up and when I type me, we come down with him on the weekend because... You see, him see the importance I have amongst him to as far as the music is concerned. Wow. Yeah. You understand? Yeah, yeah, yeah. So I start go back and forward just like him. So I would have come down because I know mean, I go back to London in the week. I would have come down and we play and things like that. Now, them time they know Mafia tone fast becoming one of the most dangerous sound around town. You don't see it because we have music. Who me not know Stafford no. You understand? Yeah. So we can get we can see out the tune them anyway. Anyway. Right? And when we go to London a week time now, me and him start par now. So every record shop we know. Because we now left for 45 in London if it will come a burn. You understand? Yes. And them tiny, you still have sound and sound good enough. You know? Sound like Quaker City. You understand? And all political sound, man, right? I think one sound is sitting royal. I will pass on the Birmingham, I will warm and set speed. You know, see, it has Sir Christopher and all them sound, the Lord Cali. I will pass on in the boat, yeah, but when Mafia come now, him kind of set a different president in the thing. Right. You understand? So, I saw. So, 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 enough strategy. Well, hmm? you, when, when, when Mafia Town came in, obviously Quaker City was already around at the time. Yeah, man. Quaker there a long time from studio, man. You know, before me, Quaker got land, you know. Enough. <laughs> enough. Uh, enough. Enough. Look at the studio used to play with them. So, you know, Quaker City was always a, 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 um, a, 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 a thing. I want give you a joke quick, you know. You know, I have a friend's studio listening, but everybody listening also, I shoot all right. Yeah, one time when uh, Wilson Green uh, play Quaker City and get a tune from Jamaica in a box the studio and the tune say, Hold up, been up for your sin thing. Don't move a muscle. I remember the right word, right? Yeah. This is a rhythm you come for steel. So make you play to royal card. One little show this up, play, and then it stop. You know? I, I think I hear it. And yeah. you get a little yeah. thing there and thing like that. And yeah, yeah. boy, I mean, I tell you, those days, if there's a song, you could have played, you could have played, um, you, you, you could have played back. You, all right. So you have a tune and the tune is popular uh-huh. and you get good response. Uh-huh. You can't play about that tune there after every 10 tune, you know. You know if, you, if you didn't know them days there. Where any tune where I mash up a place, you could have played as much time for the night as you want. Right. And play. You didn't know ses- the thing you used to play like that. If you got the same version, like the conversation. No, 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 man. When I say, man, all right, we're going to use the, the man himself. All right. Suppose so, you had a bury someone like Tempted to Touch now, yeah? All right, see. Tempted to, to Touch was a tune or a do it. Mm-hmm. You could have played Tempted every 15 tune or whatever, and you could have played back Tempted, the same tune. Right. Right through the night. Because that was a tune or a do it, and that was a tune or a nice party. So you could have played back them tune. Nobody never could not attack. Oh, you played that already, you played. No, it wasn't like that. And also selection and go. You know, see, because me also select, you know, them did it from Jamaica. And that was so the number was, one show. Well, that was, the, hmm? that was the acapella when the man used to say, I'm on a camp play 101 version of the same rhythm. No, man. No? You know, listen to me, man. What I'm saying is, all right. So the other chart, yeah? Blues are a dance. And you had a chart where um, you had a tune and that tune was the number one tune. That means that tune was Jamaica pop. Pop music, the number one, because pop music means the popular, the, 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 the country popular song. Right. That number one song, Yes. when you go to party, 
it, they could play that same song, no, no version or nothing. That same song would play it for all four, five, six times for the night. Oh. Because it was the most popular, popular song. Tune. Oh, put it that way there. Me here, you know. Me here. You understand what I say? Seeing so, if you was a selector, you play, you play, you play, you see, say the crowd I go, I, I, I go slow for you. You draw about that tune and lively back up your place. I remember, I remember. And then you find another selection. It re- used to go like that. Yeah, I remember tuning Rebecca's. Back in the days, we play reggae. That used to be played left, right, and center every minute. That tune to get played all the while because it was a popular yes, song. Yes, that's that's yeah. what I'm yeah, that's what I'm saying. You know, yeah, yeah. right even when you go back, I remember a tune where it wasn't a reggae tune. I think was it? Well, she was slipping in the darkness, slipping into darkness. Right? I we ask say, man, studio city we tell them you supply play one I time things so every three tune them play that tune, the brother. Because <laughs> the tune was so sweet. You understand? Yeah, so anyway, yeah. back to the tune I'm quick now. Mm-hmm. Um, when 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 the man I play um book do move a muscle make it play and studio play it and the crowd are, hey I remember on studio that time quick have the tune you know <laughs> so 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 when I tell you all that so the way you quick I say when you come in all night you depend but oh, do move a muscle. <laughs> and play about the tune. <laughs> and play about the tune, me say. Boy, I'm not telling you, the man, you know, if you do have a student side, you know, because quick have the tune a long time, you know. Right. And I play, and I play a thing like that, right? But um, sometimes we used to get an edge from Quaker, but Quaker get the edge because he did have the sound, you know. Evanis and yeah. thing and thing like that. Yeah. You understand? Yeah, yeah, yeah. Auntie, yeah, man. And, 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 and to this day, he still has that kind of a... Yeah, man, yeah, man, yeah, man. Ryan, so, Ryan still have a decent sound there. You know what I'm saying? Yeah. I'm, 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 talking yeah. About, I'm talking about Quaker sound himself. The original sound is still sound. Yeah, man, you know, Ryan, I'm sound. Ryan, 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 I'm sound. I, I, I'm a run it, you know. Okay. I thought Ryan had his own, his own little uh, set. Different from well, his if you check it out, really, if you check, check it out, really, and really, you know, a father and son, basic, a father and son yeah, thing, basically, yeah, yeah. you know. So, the foundation come from this, so and yeah. Ryan probably put on, when I put on, yeah, or, yeah. Or come with them new thing, them, you know, right, and thing like that. Yeah, but, yeah. Um, yeah, man, before you, before you go any further, you know, you know something, mm-hmm. your history mm-hmm. is so great and so large, and also you can talk for a good couple more hours, but here we go yeah. on, caretaker, we don't have a couple more mm-hmm. hours. We have, we have a couple more minutes to go, you know. Yes. Are we not going to... Well, all right, because you have to go invite me back because I hold up a thing, I don't tell you about the thing, you know, see, even about mafia tone and oh, everything mean? with me, oh, I man attack me. You understand me, hold up a man attack about mafia tone and right. mafia we'll tone. We'll left it, we'll we'll left it, we'll left it. I don't know enough thing all to talk, right. even though I wasn't there from start, you know. We have a man come up and something and say, uh, Katie Karkin wasn't there, he came on the sound late, but I was effective. Well, all right. Let's leave, come, let, let's, leave, let's leave the affectedness till the next time yeah. we come back. Car, tam- all right. So, I'm going to big up my global family. Them still, if I can, you know. You understand? Yeah, man. Right? Yeah, man. I'm going to big up man like Tony Wayne's and me also want to big up Leon Life uh, and the Blackstone's family, Amanda J. Christos. I'm going to big up all of my Sunday night people. Then we listen to Rockaway Sunday for my thing. You understand me? I say, seeing big up all my daughter, the man, big up the whole family, man. I'm a global family, man, and we socialize them, you know? Yeah, man. All right. It's been a pleasure. I didn't think it. It's a Especially pleasure. Especially my ticket tickers. <laughs> <laughs> well, all right. Watch out. It's an all honor. Right. It's an so, honor. Thank you. Thank you very much. Yeah, indeed. man. Bless you, man. Glad for you have me star and thing like that, right? Yeah, so, man. next time we have to do it more full blown because. So it's just a quick thing as gone to the time, yeah? We can sit again. So, we can sit again. It, well, all right. Yeah, it's up to you. Yeah, man. Medea, man. See? All right. Manners respect. and respect. All yes, right. caretaker. Yes. Yeah, yeah. All right. Manners, yeah, manners, man. manners, manners, manners. Mm. Oh, yeah, 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 man. Yeah, man. Oh, yeah. Them should have known a gang ghoul in this, you know. I'm here represent the Skyline Radio. Vinyl Sunday. Every last Sunday of each month. Godfather. Vinyl Sunday. All day on the radio station. Walk and tell the nation. Oh, yeah. Satol Sata Satol Sata Satol Sata Satol Satol Sata Well, all right, we've come to the end of the show here. Unfortunately, 
a great story from the man himself, caretaker from out of, of course, Ravers International from out of Birmingham. We've got more stuff to bring to you. Uh, we're going to set another date, as you heard him say, for the first time here on The Big One. So thank you very much for your time. And big up all his fans and all his listeners. So until that time, God bless, take care, and enjoy the rest of the day. And big up the whole of the rest of the Sunday team. Until that time, God bless, take care, and look after yourself. I'll say, I'll say it again. Bye for now. Keep it locked. <laughs> 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 <laughs>